What is up guys, Wivered Waste here, and today we're going to be playing some Spider-Man. Well, the amazing Spider-Man to be exact. Uh, th when I recorded this, this was the first time I'd ever played it, so... Naturally you're going to see me getting used to the controls. Uh, I'll make a fool of myself quite often. But that's all part of the fun. So... Uh, th the starting screen, like this little animation thing, looks quite good to me. It's one of my favourite in-game background screens, if you will. Uh, I do like the black lines that are going across it, gives it a nice effect. But uh, yeah, anyway, I turned the subtitles on and changed the sen ugh, sensitivity at the start. Uh, but through this game, all I did was play the story. I didn't do very many side quests. I might do a separate video for all of those for if anyone needs help through some of them because I don't know about you guys but the one or two that I've done uh, not in the video but I've done on my own. I, <laughs> quite a few of them I got lost actually. Like uh, it'll take me like 10 minutes to realize I had to go through a damn window. But anyway yeah I'll do a separate video for those if I do do one. Uh, so yeah, this series is just of the actual story. I'll keep all of the cutscenes in. Uh, you've got the subtitles up, so you can read what they say if you want. Uh, but yeah, I was quite excited for this game. Actually, I quite enjoy the Spider-Man games. Uh, I think it's fun to swing around the city and do whatever you feel like. I was hoping that this game wouldn't be as bad as the past ones because they always muff them up. They just try and get them out as fast as they can, which ends up making the quality of the game pretty low. But for this one, they've done alright. It's not too bad. Uh, it's one of those games where at the start you just got a long cutscene which is a bit annoying because you just want to get into it and play. But, no, it's not too bad, it's quite a good cutscene, I guess. This episode is pretty much cutscenes, because like I say, the start is full of cutscenes. And I don't want the videos to be too long, so i put this one to about 20, 21 minutes. Uh, the other ones will have a lot more action, obviously. If you want to go for the Platinum Trophy, or I'm not quite sure what it's called on the Xbox or whatever, but uh, yeah, if you want to get all the trophies, it doesn't seem too hard for it. There's one or two trophies that look like they'll be ever so slightly annoying, such as the collecting, I think it's 700 magazines or something. I'm not looking forward to that, but... Most of the trophies you'll just get as you play through the game. I mean, I'm on 55% now, and that's with only doing, like, two or three side quests. Everything else came from the actual game, like, just playing through the story. So it's not too bad to get, uh, go for the Platinum on this. But yeah, as I was saying, the graphics for this game, they look pretty good. They're not amazing. Spider-Man looks pretty good. But, uh... Yeah, like, as you can see here, the graphics there, they look pretty good. Here's where you first see uh, Rhino. You do get to fight him later on, but it's not really a massive fight. It's quite quick, actually. So yeah, through this playthrough, I made myself look like a bit of an idiot sometimes, so I might have to cut some of them out. <laughs> Uh, at, uh, on one or two missions I died quite a lot so I'm going to have to cut those out and just show the run through where I didn't die. Just to save time and so you don't have to keep watching me die, it's just getting a bit boring. Uh, at the end of this video you'll see it freezes pretty much, uh, it fades to black and just stays there. The game did freeze on me. A lot of games seem to be doing this to me recently. I think there's a problem with my PlayStation, but I don't know. It only did it once, so it wasn't too bad. 
you know, uh, nanobots. I but yeah, so that's where I ended the video for this because you worked with well, because right? it froze, and it was at uh, twenty minutes, so it wasn't too bad anyway. So this is a cross species. You promised me that all of Connor's work was over. But, uh, how many more do we keep here? I told you the truth, Gwen. See, I think this guy's name's Smythe. He seems to be the new the guy in charge of Osport. Well, I say the new guy. I'm, I, I haven't really seen much of the Amazing Spider-Man. He might be the guy that's always been in charge. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I pretty much only know the general Spider-Man with... Well, just normal Spider-Man, not the Amazing Spider-Man. Another one of these cross species? This is crazy. The lizard almost destroyed the city. What, what rational mind would continue to create these things? Changing the ethics of a large corporation takes time. Now, some scientists argue that these pathetic creatures have some benefits. So here's your first look on one of the tonight, these cross species disappear. Evil cross species that uh, you'll disposal. be fighting quite a lot in the game. Out of sight. They're always popping up, and uh, even once you complete it, you got side missions with them. Today? It always looks like that. They went farther with Connor's work than we realized. Pretty much the baby lizards. Incredibly dangerous, highly More resolved. Hence the containment units. Hey, where'd he go? Come on out, little fella. That little fella is a walking disease. Any direct contact with it leads to infection. Infection leads to death. Yeah, these videos will be going up on the... Gaming forums, YouTube channel. Uh, remember to sign up to the website tgforums.co.uk. Pretty good gaming site. You'd always find people that you can make friends with and play online games with. So it's a good place to hang out, pretty much. A lot of friendly people there, a lot of trolls of course, because, well, you can't have a gaming forum without trolls, that just wouldn't, wouldn't be right. Other handsome guys like me? I'm used to it. Unlike robots, biological creatures are unpredictable. I much prefer things I can control. Unpredictable, huh? What is that? sip of my coffee. This has to be the strangest office tour I've ever been on. Don't worry, Mark. Our next stop is the nanobot lab. Once you see it, you won't want to leave. Hey, excuse me, Dr. Smythe. I need someone with special clearance to help me take this down to B sector. No, I don't have time for this. Hey, Gwen, maybe it's a good thing you're here. You can deal with some of this bureaucratic nonsense. A punishment for uh, trespassing. Go with him and catch up with us when you're done. So yeah, this is supposed uh, to be a doctor, prequel. Uh, pre you know, prequel. Sure get... Yeah, prequel from the movie. I can't speak I to it, okay. Uh, but yeah, it's supposed to be a prequel from the movie. The movie. <laughs> yeah, I really can't speak. But yeah, from the movie. Uh, I haven't seen the movie yet. The the game pretty much makes me want to watch it, but I haven't got around to it yet. That's the only thing with the Spider-Man games is they're always either based on the movie or just after the movie or whatever. But the game always comes out before the film does. Which makes it a bit annoying, I guess. Because I want to play the game straight away, but then it's just I haven't seen the film, so I'd rather watch the film first. But what can you do? Nothing really. Yeah, the game's kind of short. Uh, I didn't expect to have completed it when I did. I figured I was about halfway through or something, but then the credits started rolling. So, it could have made the game a bit longer, but remember it's Spider-Man. You've always got free, ro free roam at the end. Go around, do what you want, do some side quests. So yeah, I hear the cross species could sense Peter's blood or whatever. So he's going into attack mode and they pretty much all wake up from here. As you can see they're all roaming around. This can't be happening. No, no, Gwen, look at me. Gwen! So 
Gwen's now screwed. But here's Spider-Man. About bloody time. After what, 10 minutes of Peter Parker? He's cool and all, but... Spider-Man! Yeah, if you remember what uh, Smythe said about if you get bitten, there's no cure or whatever. Now Gwen has been bitten. This is pretty much what the whole game's based on. You want to cure everyone from the infection, which I don't like it being okay? called an infection. It just makes me think of zombies. Get me to the quarantine area. I can help you save the other scientists from there. Yeah, this bit's a bit annoying. The door doesn't open for you. You've got to wait and, and watch this. And there we go. If you can see how high he jumps, it's ridiculous. I mean, it's good for when you're out like, in the city, but when you're inside a building, you can make him jump a little less higher, but obviously I was still getting used to the controls, so I didn't know what I was doing. Time to fight. This is where you'll basically start learning the fighting controls. It's <laughs> there's not really much to learn about it. It's pretty much just mashing square. It's sort of like the Batman games in the sense of the dodging with triangle. The only thing with this one is it's you see, I think it gives you a, uh, a bit more time than what the Batman one does. Because I think with Batman you literally had to press it instantly. Whereas on here it flashes for a little while because obviously Spider-Man has his spider sense. So that makes it more enjoyable. But there's a lot of dodging you have to do in this game. And sometimes you can't dodge so you have to use L1 to get out of the way. Which essentially I guess is a dodge but... More like running away. I seriously drink too much coffee. I must have right. like four pints a day. No wonder why I can never bloody sleep. On the other side. Stay here, Gwen. I'll come back to get you. Yeah, as you can see there, I had no idea what the hell I was doing. It said to press R1 for a second, so I pressed it and I ended up all the way over there. But yeah, some of these controls can take a little bit of getting used to but the, once you get used to them it's pretty easy the fans are a bit of a pain in the ass as you'll see here like you stop them you go to jump through them but you have to wait until they've instantly yeah okay I had a bit of trouble trying to jump up there like I said I can't get used to this jumping it's not quite the way I'd like it but uh, yeah you can't go through the fan until it's completely stopped if it's moving even the tiniest bit you have to still wait I'm not quite sure why they did that I suppose it's so you don't chop yourself up, but I mean, when it's moving that slow, I don't think you're going to hurt yourself. See, I don't know what would happen if you did touch those lasers, because I made sure I didn't. I assume the, you're going to have a load of turrets on your ass. But yeah, if you get this game, you better get used to going in vents like this as I can tell you now I lost count how many bloody vents you gotta go through in this game these little guys have their own shields later on in the game uh, so you have to use your web attack thingy with circle to disable their shield. But at the start they're pretty simple. Although I think I still struggled if I remember correctly. Hmm, guess not.
<clears throat> so yeah, sometimes, like here, you just end up thinking, well, hang on, I just came through that door, so obviously I don't need to go in there. No, I'm going back at myself right now, so if I go back in this room, do I have to go through that thing again? What the, where do I... I'm confused. <laughs> Quite a lot of parts of this game do this to me, whereas it's just... I have no idea what way am I supposed to be going? I guess I do go back on myself. But isn't this the way I came? Okay. Apparently it was the way I was supposed to go. If that's the case, then how the hell did I get in that room? I need to Unless there was another door that closed behind me when I got in there. But I don't know. I was pretty sure that that was the door that I came in. Originally. I'll try, but Gwen, I have to ask. What's gonna happen? To you? Yeah, the graphics for her you remember what happened to bite this only or infection, whatever you want to call it, doesn't look too great. It just looks. I mean, I don't see any blood or anything on her. But as you can see, the graphics on Spider-Man there look pretty good. Quite impressed with that. There's still a risk that the virus will spread. Gwen, stay calm. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you, okay? We'll figure it out. I'll find Dr. Smythe and the others. Hopefully, it's not too late. Wait, Peter. Take the Ozphone on the table. Oh, uh, yeah. What? It's the name of the Oscorp phone. Ozphone. It's still a prototype, but at least I'll be able to call you. Okay. Now, this is the little gadget that you'll use to level up your tech. Uh, well, basically your tech, I guess, and your like Spider-Man skills for like attacks and web thingies. I thought I could have sworn uh, before this game was released that they said about you can change like your the way you swing, like when you're in the city or whatever. You can press this and that button to make your character do whatever. But I haven't found any upgrades that allow me to change the way I swing. It's all just hold R2, whatever happens, happens. It's a bit annoying, but... <laughs> so yeah, after every mission, you'll... You'll have a little... Well, this basically looking at a wall as Peter Parker's talking to Connors. Uh, you free him quite early in the game, and he works with you to basically stop the infection. You have no idea. One of the good things that I do like about this game is. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't seem to do it now, but during a mission, when it has like a little loading thingy like this, like say for instance, when you die, it will go to this sort of screen with a loading thing. Uh, on the right side, you can read the city people's thoughts, basically, like what they're thinking there and then. Some of them are pretty good, actually. If you go through them, they're pretty funny, but. Yeah, I think that's a pretty cool added feature. At this point, I didn't realise I had to press start, so... Yeah. Stop looking at this for a little bit. And here we go. <laughs> what do you know, another cutscene. Although this is a typical Spider-Man one. Sitting on a building. Jump off. It's good the way it integrates from this cutscene into when you get to play though. Because he just jumps off and then it tells you to press R2 to start swinging. Which looks pretty good. And there we go. Peter? Gwen, you okay? I don't know. I have to say it Yeah, the swinging for this answer. game is far better than any of the other Spider-Man games. However, it takes a bit of getting used to. Uh, at the start, all I did was just hit buildings constantly, 
Uh, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Toward the end of the game, I started getting used to it and I knew what I was doing then. But yeah, this is your cell phone now. I'll just tell you all of the things that you can do, like missions and whatnot. And if you press X on one of the things, it will basically mark it for you. But yeah, we're coming to the end of this. Uh, my first impressions from the start of the game. Great game. Uh, a few too many cutscenes I'd rather be able to play a bit more, but yeah, seems like a great game. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and here comes the freeze. PlayStation Freeze.